Okay, so we have already finished the upgrade for the CVI. So the next step, I would like to introduce a special feature. It's called P2P. This feature is very simple. Doesn't need any extra features to do to your router. It's simple as you'll see it. So the only thing you need to have a valid internet connection, and also if you have a router, also, and there's that feature will be available as long as you have internet connection. So the only thing you need to do is just get grab a wire, get five wire, and plug into the your video. Okay. So once it's done, make sure. You need to do the next steps. Let's enter the password. Okay. So the next step is you need to go into the network only. Make sure your device is on DHCP. So let your device pick the IP address from the network. Hit apply. Save. Go back to the network and you will notice that your device already picked up the different IP address. So once you have different IP address which means your device is connected. So the next feature is called that P2P. Once you click on the P2P, you will notice. You will notice like pure code. And make sure it's enabled as well. Click on enable, click apply, and hit save. So again, go back to the network, go to P2P, and you'll notice that the status is online. So the next thing is, it's very simple. You need to have a smartphone. The smartphone can be Android-based or iOS-based smartphone. You can have either the Nexus 5, Nexus 4, Samsung that on Android-based, or you can also have it on iOS-based, like iPhone 5, iPhone 4. So make sure you have application installed in your phone. Application name is GDMMSS Lite, which is right here. If you can take a look at it. So what you need to do is just open this application, tap on application, the application is loading right now. The next thing is, you need to go into device manager. Click on device manager, hit on plus button, and as you notice, I have P2P feature in this application and QR code feature. So the next thing is, you need to just simply tap on the QR code. Once you click on the top QR code, so your camera will capture an actual QR code from the screen. Just like that. Here we go. As you notice on my cell phone right here, you can, oh, actually my smartphone, smartphone, you can see the actual code that has been imported from that particular DVR. So, next to use this, you need to just specify a different name. For instance, uh, let's say D E R. Just like that. And the next thing is what you need to do is just click on start live here. It will take for a couple of minutes to reinitialize it, maybe a couple of seconds. And you will definitely see it one of the cameras. As you can see, it's connected. Okay, the next step is the cameras will show up in my phone. It takes a little while as well, don't worry about it. So once you have the camera show, just simply double tap on the camera and you see it. So I have one of the cameras that sits right here on my table. So if I move my camera, so you can definitely see it that connection works pretty fast. It works pretty way faster than other ones, other features that we used to have on this DVR. So basically this is the way you connect this camera and you connect this DVR through the P2P feature. So it's simply works on the smartphone. So once you have a smartphone like from Apple or from Android based smartphones, this is the way it works. Okay, the one more thing I want to mention to you, if you were concerned for port forwarding, so P2P feature does not require any port forwarding. Well, this, this DVR still includes the port forwarding just for other option features if you want to still use it for, for uh, like quick DDNS or different uh, 
probably like DNS services. So you can still go on to right menu, just click on the DNS, and that feature is still available. So, however, if you use a P2P feature, 440 is kind of obsolete. And uh, thank you for watching. If you were enjoying for the video, so go on our website, which is right here on the right.